stop and think for a second. Does anybody really care who the first barbecue restaurant in your city was? Or who the first car insurance company was? Or maybe even who broke ground creating a new genre of music? Not really. I mean, I'm sure they will bring it up in conversation, but it's all about who is doing it best. Your business or brand should think the same. Stop boasting that you are the original newspaper of your area, the oldest restaurant in your city, or maybe the fourth generation car dealership. The hard truth is that only maybe 5% of your potential customers actually care. Focus on becoming socially relevant or the favorite to get people there and then sell them on service, quality, and you being the go-to source for that product or service. Notice how I didn't mention price. Why? Because price is actually the least deciding factor on someone's mind when making a purchase based on really good marketing. Your ultimate goal of branding is to become the first or the only one that comes to mind when your product or service is thought of. That one sentence alone is what most business owners or entrepreneurs are totally lost on and should be the end goal for anyone trying to build up their business or personal brand. Now, back to being the best at what you do. My clients have spent countless years competing with each other, brands and businesses based on price, quality, and service. And they always seem to overlook the main attention grabber, marketing. You see, all of what I just mentioned except for price is really critical. But with marketing being a battle of perceptions, you must market the perception of the best quality, the best service, and the best and highest satisfaction to the customer when they purchase your product or service. Now, let me throw a twist in there. You also have to become the favorite in your city, industry, among consumers. Being the best can be questionable, but being the favorite restaurant in the city might actually be better than being the best. Let that soak in. Think about it. I know you can't put all of those key points in every advertisement, but at least you have a new starting point that pulls you away from joining the race to the bottom, where even if you win or lose, you're still screwed. I hope that I have opened your eyes into getting out of that mindset and think you have some kind of social seniority simply because you might have pulled something off years before anyone else did. Personally, I don't recommend constantly competing with anyone else other than yourself, but assess the competitors and then see what they're missing, what they could have done, what is more needed for you to purchase from them, and so on. The good problem with us entrepreneurs is that we think we can make someone's operation much better than they have. So, why don't you take that same mindset and turn your operation into a better one than a similar one of your same industry? Start focusing on what you can do better rather than how you can price match. 